Hey creators! Welcome back to Ultimate Guide to Craftland Studio for PC. Whether you're totally new or just switching from mobile, this guide will show you exactly how to get started with step-by-step -step and create your very own Free Fire map from scratch. So grab your mouse, open Craftland Studio, and let's build something epic together. All right, first things first, what even is Craftland Studio? It's Garena's official PC-based tool for Free Fire's Craftland mode. With Craftland Studio, you can create custom maps using ready-made templates, design unique scenes, and build your own custom UI interfaces. Use both official and custom game resources to personalize the experience. Tweak or fully customize game modules to optimize performance and gameplay logic and even write your own game logic using graphical tools or scripting code. Think of it like Fortnite Creative meets Minecraft Builder, but tailored specifically for Free Fire fans. Let's talk about how to access Craftland Studio for PC, the official tool for designing your own Free Fire maps without using any emulator. And if you've participated in any official Craftland Creator contest or your map has been recognized, you may receive an invitation to join the Craftland Creator Club. This gives you exclusive access to the PC editor. The invitation usually includes a reward and important instructions. You'll be asked to send a mail to fffeditor at garena.com with your UID for verification. Once approved, you'll get access to the download link. From there, it's super simple. Download the Craftland Studio from the official Creator Center or link provided. Install it on your PC. Log in using your Free Fire account, and that's it. You're all set to start building maps like a pro using your keyboard and mouse. All right, let's take a look at the Craftland Studio interface. It might look a bit complicated at first, but don't worry, it's not rocket science. I'll make it super simple for you. At the very top, you'll find the menu bar with categories like file, edit, assets, tools, and help. This is where you'll find things like opening or saving your project. Just right below that, you'll see file tabs. You can open multiple files like scenes, scripts, or UI elements. Unsaved changes show an asterisk. Neat, right? This is where the magic starts. The object selector includes everything like buildings, props, furniture, to trees and rocks, even cool game objects. You can even mark your favorites for quick access. Also, there's a search bar too. <laughs> Click on any object in your scene and this panel shows you its details like size, rotation, or position, and even advanced settings. At the bottom, you'll find tools to shape the terrain tools, organize your objects, and event game logic or scripting tabs, like how things behave or trigger events. Canvas Enter is your scene editor, your creative playground. You can zoom in and out, rotate around, and drag objects just like a sandbox game. It's fully 3D and intuitive. You'll also see panels like project assets, console logs, and debug mode. These are more advanced, but super handy once you go deeper. That's your editor layout. Once you spend a few minutes here, it'll feel like home. Now let's move on and start building. All right, let's build your first map together. It's easier than it looks and super fun. Click the new project button from the main screen. At the top, pick a template type. For beginners, select basic template. Choose a map base from the list. I recommend empty map to start clean canvas. On the right side, you'll see a description of the selected map. Make sure it matches what you need. At the bottom, give your project a unique name and choose where you want to save it. Keep names short and clear like my first arena. Click create to launch the editor. Now you are in. Let's place some items and bring this map to life. Drag and drop a few buildings, props, or walls from the left panel onto your map. Add spawn points for players. Make sure both teams have a spot. Use your mouse or shortcuts to move, rotate, or resize objects. It's like editing a creative world. Simple, smooth, and satisfying. You wanna try it out? Just click play test and boom, your map loads instantly in preview mode. That's it, your first map is ready. Feels satisfying, right? Next up, let's explore the system settings in Craftland Studio. These options help you optimize your map and prepare it for publishing like a pro. First, to open system settings, click the gear icon next to the debug button, or just go through the system menu. In the project settings tab, you'll find everything about your map's core setup. Basic information, here you name your map, set the description, and prep it for publishing. Think of it as your map's profile. Build settings, these control how your build behaves. It's where you fine tune the structure and interaction. Localization, want your map to support multiple languages? This feature lets you manage all your display text using a CSV file. Want to make sure your map runs smooth even on lower-end devices? 
This tab is for that. Streaming, it breaks your map into zones and only loads what's nearby, perfect for bigger maps. Server loading area, only lets objects in a specific area have collisions. This helps with performance boost during gameplay. Auto LOD simplification, if you've imported custom 3D models, this setting helps reduce their detail when far away, saving resources. Now for the fun part, testing your map with precision. Starting language. This sets the debug mode language. Great for testing localization. Team up options. Choose how players are assigned to teams during testing. Strict mode. Want to catch bugs instantly? Turn on strict mode. It stops the test the moment something breaks. Breakpoints and debug mode. Perfect for developers. Pause the game exactly where you need it to test events or logic. Performance cache, clear this if things feel laggy or if you've opened a bunch of projects. It resets the UI image cache. Next up, we're diving into advanced logic, block scripts, code scripts, and more tools. So don't forget to hit that like button. If you learned something new, subscribe for more creator guides and comment below your map code. I I'd love to try it out. Got questions? Drop them in the comments or join our Discord for map building tips and community feedback.